hello welcome to this video in in this series of map click maps so in this particular one we're going to talk about two click geo operations which are actually co uh, closely related uh, one one uh, the first function we're going to explore is finding the closest and other closest location to the given point so for example maybe uh, you are trying to find a route uh, where you have to deliver goods to 12 customers so and you are planning to plan your route so this is you have your starting point and then uh, you want to go on further to sh uh, explore you know the sh shortest points uh, in between unfortunately click does not support like you know like uh, uh, you give randomly any points and it gives you you know the maps uh, uh, you know the shortest distance uh, but there is a way uh, it's just like you know on the Google map uh, you give the this, uh, points in a sequence it give you uh, those things so the map uh, or the route and that sequence but I have come up with a way uh, using two operations where you can actually you know uh, work on that so let's get started the first one is just have a look uh, just we just uh, ignore the left part for now uh, just see the customer name, customer address, and the customer locations. So the first thing we're gonna have, we are plotting that these are our customers uh, based in different areas. They are like a little further apart. So I have here the load. So I'm gonna create a closest function first. Uh, so if if you want to create this connection first, uh, just click on create, go into click geo operations, and just create hit this create button. You need to. You don't need to do anything else. That's it. So once you do that, just click in here. And the first function we're going to look is the closest one. So the first thing is, you know, it's just not the wild closest. Maybe you know, like like uh, the closest points like a thousand kilometers away. So or seventy eighty. So you you want to describe the distance, which what means the closest. So which point you need to take into account. So we say that uh, let's get um, start with a 70 kilometers and then the distance type. So is it the bird distance that we're looking at or it's a car or the bike? So we are talking about the travel distance. So let's get uh, that with a car and we can also have hours, minutes, etc. other type of uh, as time distances as well. Okay, so we're sticking to the uh, distance in terms of the kilometers. And then how many closest points you want. So I want three points uh, for now. Just uh, let's have a look. I'm going to explain why I'm going to, to do that. We do not have separate data sets. It's just one data set that we are going to use. And this one is the loaded table that we have. If you see, it's called the route plan table name. So I'm going to use route plan. Uh, this field name is route ID. And the point name is location i think and we were going to keep this one as is uh so this the points that we have uh shared here we can change that i'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show that so for example this is the location and i'm gonna i can change it here as well so we have actually we got it right so we don't need to change that uh, it automatically does the location one and location two and uh, all these units we can change that uh, for example if we want to switch from here so we can actually type it here as well or we can use a dialog box uh, there's no difference so for example I would change it here so I can change it to all the places maybe uh, if I got this wrong I can change it here so that's the idea okay so then now let's reload this one and let's see what happens Okay, so the load is complete. So if you see, there are 12 points and it has created 36 closest points. The reason is we go, went for three points. Okay. Uh, there might be less points because maybe some closest point is further away, let's say 30 kilometers or um, 100 kilometers. Uh, so we can. Now I'm going to plot these one distances in here. So these locations in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add location one and location two from this one. So 
location and then I'm gonna also add location so let's just get this one on top and then location this one and this is a second location so if you see I have this point and the location distance from this point is this much this point is this much so let's just get start, uh, sort it by this point so now I have this point and I have these three closest points if I see at this point I see these closest points now if I see this point I see the closest point so in this way I have three closest point and uh, I can you know uh, this is by the way ranked as in no way uh, that you know the closest point is ranked first so what I can do is I can go into the click and uh, uh, I can apply you know I have this data now and I can create a way to you know sort them uh, by closest point to the next one to the next one so that you know I have this 12 points and I can plan my journey that you know this one is the second closest one this is the third closest one this is the fourth closest uh, you know uh, the next point the next point exclude the point we have previously visited and the next closest to that and the next closest to that so in this way we can create um, our uh, uh, you know uh, way uh, where we have a sequence where we have 12 points linked in a sequence uh, how we want them to be the closest or maybe there is another way uh, for example in this data that we are using if you see I have already this one is the first one and there are appointment times so we have to be there on that particular time so I have already sorted them uh, in a way that I'm going to visit them so uh, but uh, using this closest function you can do that yourself as well uh, maybe you have let's say you want seven more points and then you apply some other click transformations simple logic uh, to sort them by um, distance and then uh, have have 12 points in a way that you know the one after the another and this is how you uh, plan your journey okay so the next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna assume this sequence and I'm gonna run the travel area so this one I'm going to comment for now and the next thing I'm gonna go to click geo operations and I'm going to use the route function which is provided by click to us so this is my route function so yeah I'm gonna use the fastest route I'm gonna use the car and the destination field um, the destination field is and point I think and it's his type is point and then loaded data the name of the table is route plan and again use gonna use route ID and this one is going to start this is going to be start point so I'm gonna use that okay so I'm gonna change a few things here okay so uh, now I'm gonna change route end and route start it's not start point and end point so where it says start it's actually the start uh, route start so I'm gonna use oops oh sorry uh, here we go control V control C control V and we do have that here as well so I'm gonna change that here as well so um, there is nowhere else and uh, now we need to update this route end part so route end route end okay so we have everything in place I think so let's just reload it okay so we have 12 routes uh, this particular uh, function is going to give us uh, routes uh, line layers so let's just use this line route layer and if I can plot this one as line layer okay and let's just 
change the color by dimension okay and the dimension I'm gonna use here is route ID and location is low resolution this is fine so it's route ID okay so the point layer I'm going to exclude okay so this is fine with we are going to change a little bit arrow we're going to use the forward direction color we have already done uh, let's just increase the length a little bit here okay so here we have these you know these plants so I'm gonna run them just using this um, animation so this is route 1 then this is route 2 going back then this is route 3 going to this direction then this is route 4 going toward this direction from this one then this is route 5 from this to going down here then this going here then this going from here to here and this going from here to here so going this going so you, you might see th in this case they are not like closer points had, uh, are together uh, but they are separate in a way um, the way I have given it so you can customize your uh, how this point should be and um, based on any logic you can have your aerial distance or any other pre um, uh, uh, contacts and you can give it to click to plot uh, it out for you so that's it for uh, this uh, from this particular video uh, stay tuned subscribe me if you haven't already uh, stay tuned for the next videos thank you very much